Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your own... Wait, it's Feb... It's gonna be February, yeah. February reading for this current year. Pisces and Cross Watchers, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If it doesn't, just boop your nose and away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that ain't about you. It ain't none of your business, right? You want a personal? All the information is in the description box below after the music channel listings. So check there if you want something right, right. Other than that, make yourselves at home. Anyway, Pisces, yours is very interesting, right? I feel like this is like a drug kind of trip a little bit. I, I think I'm going to name yours like hallucinogenics or some shit. Um, it seemed like there was a, a false foundation between, like, a pairing to the point where, like, someone's kind of, like, neglecting themselves because they're too focused on two people and it's making them unhappy, right? Down in the situation, we can have a Two of Cups reverse scenario with the Chariot. Someone might be breaking up with somebody else in order to move forward, right? Ten of Swords reverse with the Four of Wands in the Wants and Wishes. It's like... It's like self-betrayal opens a door. Or like, you know, it's like one person. It's almost like somebody catches somebody else beat. Like with this deck, right? Sometimes I like to say with this particular Ten of Swords when it's reversed, someone catches the gaslighting or the betrayal right in front of their face and makes them open their eyes. But in this case, it might open a door or a relationship of sorts. You might actually be trying to get with somebody else, honestly. Uh, down the obstacles and challenges, though, is this King of Wands reverse. He's all pissed off and being very immature with his emotions or whatever, right? Which is weird because he's conflicting with the Starman reverse over here, which is like maybe somebody who manifests something the wrong way and then has something shitty to say. And he's delivering like emotional baggage back to the dude, like you're just conflicting with each other, that fire and water kind of thing. Hmm. That is so weird, because this is how your shit starts and how it'll end, like somebody manifesting um, some mouthy shit right but it's towards like this king of wands with the shitty emotions and then your fears or rejections are like the princess of pentacles reverse with the knight of swords also reverse it's like a still birth offer causes someone to say some really hasty and ignorant shit right that's a fear and rejection for you but we got the six of swords moving forward after from some bad shit some bad juju So let's see what the energy right here. Four pentacles with the sun reverse. Someone doesn't feel good with this pairing or whatever, right? They don't feel victorious with this at all. Either you or the person you're dealing with, Pisces. And it's like they can't catch a break. They can't rest in it. Down the situation below with the chariot and the two of cups reverse, like moving forward from a breakup, right? Um, fate said no. Fate says no. Uh, not unless you go back and say what you want to say. Huh. Or you... Like, are you waiting for a sign or some shit? And then you just... Like, you feel like you should just leave? But instead you decide, no, that's not the right thing to do, so you go back and argue? Is that what you do? Because it's like, over here, it's like something might get delivered to you that you don't want to hear. Like, you want to say something, but maybe something will get said back to you that you don't like? Ten of Swords with this, uh, four of Wands right here. Like, a betrayal right in front of them might open a door. 
Not really taking any control in the situation. But that's still the Emperor Reverse. Trying to look inside about that shit. Look real deep, but it's like... Pisces and cross is almost like whoever this person is, it's like they have almost already decided. However, the obstacle and challenge is like a king of wands with the sour face and shitty feelings, right? Might be the magician. Because he's over here, too. The star man. Uh, manifesting something here. Which is the heartbreak. They might be like conjuring this shit without... Hmm. You're not taking any control in this, but you are looking inside and or trying to look inside to see what the fuck's going on. And down below, whoever this King of Wands is with his like, I don't know, bad juju, his negative energy, his negative emotions is causing this heartbreak to come about. The fears and rejections feeling like an offer will be stillborn and naughty words might be said. It's like you're on guard. Definitely could be with a Leo. You know, almost like you're waiting for disaster to happen. Like, so it hasn't even come yet. You're just... What, are you being paranoid or some shit? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are waiting for a tower moment to happen. But you're afraid of it, too. You're just watching from the distance. Let's see... How this shit starts, how it'll end with the star man and the negative behaviors. I feel like he is manifesting his heartbreak, but it's because he's in such a bad attitude and talking so much shit. Or he just wants to say something about, like, the heartbreak or whatever. Not realizing that they're the ones that are causing it, though, because the star man is in reverse. And now it's like, it's like what they're saying or what they're doing or the action they're taking is what's bring the manifestation here. It's like they're not trying to see it from a different point of view. Um, ooh, relationship might come to light. The devil card could be with a Capricorn. Or maybe our relationship's finally like starting to um, look better. And it's something brand new. Oh, is this person find out about like, you guys have been, like, kind of, I think, see someone on the side, I think? They find out about it? Oh, my goodness. Or is this person just going to figure out that there is somebody else? One of the two. Ah. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Reverse, could be Capricorn for sure. Also Taurus or Virgo. Um, they're a little bit miffed because they got to put their intuition to the side. Gathering information because they really I don't I don't think they're clear on what the right choice is and that's causing this four of pentacles reverse where securities aren't so secure anymore. What's the ending theme? Trying to move on to calmer waters. <clears throat> Pisces, you might be annoyed. <laughs> you might be annoyed. You're bored. You want to be dramatic. Oh yes. Oh, yes, indeed. You might want to be dramatic, leave dramatically, and escape before it's too late. Before this hawk comes in and just eats you alive. Or maybe that's how they feel about you. One of the two. Either way, someone feels like there is somebody else involved. Pisces, there might be, but I feel like there's also a chance of, like, you or the person you're dealing with is not prepared in a way. Here in the energy, you know, like, once again, strength card, someone might be having to embrace your darker side or an animal that they picked up in the wild. And that causes, like, the marriage to be over, the door to close, if you will. That's your energy. You feel like they're going to embrace something. Are you scared to, like, someone... Oh, my. 
Are you scared someone's going to embrace the lion and close the door on you? Or maybe they feel that way? The situation? Or feel like fate isn't allowing this, so you go back to argue? Or say some shit? It's because, like, it feels like something isn't being delivered to you, or it isn't going to be delivered to you. So it's like you decide not to offer your love instead, or they decide not to offer their love to you. It could definitely be an earth sign involved in here. For sure. If you feel like they aren't delivering an offer, you don't want to deliver love. Or maybe you think that's what they're not going to offer you, so you can't give your love to them, or you can't give your heart to them. You know? um, feeling like you've been set up into a trap, and you want to escape temptation because there's no start here. Your intuition is picking up, like, this whole, like... I am a servant to someone I don't want to serve. It doesn't feel fair. And now you're looking at your options. Hmm. Wants and wishes, Pisces and cross watchers. Yeah, you're not taking control and you're looking inside because it feels like you're getting pulled through the fire. Feel like you're being crushed by somebody. Once again, it could be Leo, King of Wands, also Sagittarius, or, well, everybody is up on the board, honestly, everybody is, I think. Yeah, everybody is, everybody's on the board. Um, so this really could be anybody, but mainly fire energy. Mm. Are you afraid someone would burn you just to make this dude who can crush people happy? Do you feel like your person would pick him over you? And that's what's got you freaked out? Interesting. It's a possibility. I could be reading this completely wrong, though. All right. Obstacle and challenge. This King of Wands, though, is manifesting this heartbreak. Queen of Pentacles. Definitely to be with the Capricorn, for sure. Um, very independent. She's got a rabbit that runs. Gotta go fast. Um, she's very proud of what she creates with her pentacle, too. She wants to let go of this burden once and for all. She doesn't want to pick it back up anymore. Pisces, whoever these people are, and I have no idea who the fuck they are. Because, like, all of them are fucking weird. And, and, and some of the perspectives don't, it, like, definitely, like, feels like a hallucinogenic because it's just, like, some of it makes sense, but some of it doesn't. Um, but it's almost like you're afraid you'll get dragged to make this dude happy or he will crush you. But down below, it's like... He's in the energy of creating a situation where whoever is, like, producing what, either they're tired of picking up the slack or this King of Wands is tired of picking up the slack with this person. Like, they're getting sick of him. Like, you might think that, like, whoever it is is going to do whatever for this guy or he might do it to you or vice versa or some shit right but in reality it's like he's causing someone to be tired because he's tired it's like he's creating the problem It could literally be like an earth side who's like getting tired of the shit. It's just like, I really don't even want to pick this shit up anymore. Like, this is a lot of fucking work. I just want to nap and go to bed. Like, it's like, they make them tired. Fears and rejections. Seeing people watching you and afraid how disaster it's going to go. I really feel like you're afraid of something not being given to you. Um, you can rejoice because there's going to be happy times. And you'll be okay. 
you're going to fix yourself regardless. That's not bad at all. I think you're afraid over nothing. Like, it looks like there might be celebrations. And you're going to be able to, like, get a drink after a long-ass ride. Are you afraid everyone's gonna party without you? But no one's gonna party without you, Pisces. You're cool. How this shit starts, how it'll end. The devil seeing the light. And then, like, a blooming new relationship. And the offer might come with, like, a waiver. That might make you feel like, yeah, uh, maybe this wasn't the victory I was thinking it was. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Uh, okay, Pisces, like, there might be a budding relationship here. But there are little nooks and crannies and bugs and pests that you are going to have to deal with that makes you feel like, ah. Uh, this is really worth it. Look, whatever this offer is being given to you. It might just make you walk away. Or it might make them walk away. But someone's gonna walk away leaving another person feeling thirsty as fuck. <clears throat> Pisces, I don't know how to take this. I'm just gonna call this a side effect of hallucinogenics. Because I feel like this has been a trip. Oh my lord. Anyway, I don't know, but hopefully this helped you out. If you did, or if it did, and uh, you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Because we are done. Yes. Uh, you ain't got to if you don't want to, but I greatly appreciate it. After all, I love you guys' face. Mwah. Anyway, I hope y'all take care. See you later and bye-bye.